looking from uh, Akami's point of view. Chicago, Sydney, Hardpoint on uh, Vista as we have Sunny for Sydney. On, oh man, was close to P1, but Sydney is definitely holding on to P1. There's a hello there, doesn't connect. Yes, it does. But a little mow down going on right now. El Chapo tries to come in, but gets destroyed. Vizzy watching the front door from the reservation desk. Sends a few rounds in, does a little connection trophy going out. As we are going to, as this P1 just gets collected and everybody is making their way over to P2 right now, except for Vizzy, who's going to go ahead and get the rest of the scrap time on this P1 hill. For the Chicago Hunted, Akami gets mowed down just outside of P2 there. 33 to 5 in favor of the Hunted as we go to P2. Yep, Chicago starting it off hot. Exactly what you want to do. El Chapo getting that gun per, and it's 5-2 to two right now. Or 5-2, and two, sorry, and he's got a 4 streak rocking. They're able to chain that P1 success into P2 so far, too. So it'll be the dingoes that need to turn this one around. But as I was saying before the lobby began, Vista, our CDL teams have shown it. And we've seen it a few times in the rec league where just the first set of rotations is not always indicative of the entire match. And, of course, it still can be, but... Um, you do need to put in a whole performance, but right now it is Chicago Hunted with the whole performance. It is 72-5. Finally, they'll find out Chapo off the hill. I don't think he was able to get the cruise there. Yes, he was. But uh, well, he did end up picking it up, but his teammates filled in right after him, and no one on Sydney was able to turn those kills in any time. So it's going to be looking a lot like 76-5 to as we roll into P2, and the Chicago Hunted aren't exactly not here. So they've got to find these kills to get turning this thing around if you're the dingo. Yeah, Akami was on that P3 hill already, but got mowed off. Oh. And it's a Sydney P3 so far. El Chapo does, or, uh, yeah, Chapo does have the crews in his back pocket, ready to go, should he need it. Salvo working, oh man, Salvo tried to work his way around, but got mowed down. Akami gets mowed down right there at the front of the bar. You didn't have the right ID. El Chapo coming around right now. Salvo tossing a trophy. A little little tip for tat there nade into a trophy but salvo gets mowed down busy at the bar checking ids pouring me a cup pouring me a good drink busy looking left looking right as a sing cocktic see yeah him <laughs> man i'm just butchering names right now salvo on the hill right now for chicago after a little uh tip for tat gets taken down trapsy Working his way around, getting pre getting ready to rotate to that P4. Akami already there as he gets a he quick hello there as we go to P4, 93-25 in favor of the hunted. Yeah, the Dingles were able to get a little bit going on that last hill, but about the same as the hunted got of it. So really, an even trade goes the way of the leader, and it will be the hunted with the spawns and all the kills on uh, their side of the P4 right now. So... Dingo's going to have to try and find a break in. It'll be busy. Hanging out the top trying to stop them. Because the Akami and the guys are all just crying right now. Can't be stopped. I mean, this is kind of the problem with when you get that map one, Vista. Is if you come into it slow at all, it feels really bad if the other team doesn't. Because it is a fast map that you know, has lots of engagement. So you, you, kind of, you really feel when the knives get twisted in your back. And right now, it is all hunted. I was talking about... Kind of sprees we see. I'm starting to lose faith in that argument, Coffee, because right now it is it is a landslide right now. The hunted are absolutely fired. As El Chapo already clears off P the one off the bottom of P5. Akami up top gonna to go ahead and clear off the top of P5 before getting taken out himself. Vizzy over uh, giving a little uh, coverage to the top of P5. Chicago is back on that P5 hill, 150 to 25 in favor of the hunted. El Chapo from the bottom of P5, Akami up top, they've got it well under control. And Akami's already set up at P1 for uh, the next rotation. So he's watching them both. El Chapo just right there at that bridge, making sure nobody's coming through on the bottom. Trophy, oh, trophy on trophy violence. We can't have that. But El Chapo yeah. goes through a magazine there on a four streak of his own. Side in P1, or just outside P1, Ready for the rotation. Goes ahead, does a little mowing down. Akami comes in. Boom, there we go. Takes out Sunny. Akami at the... Oh, man. Can't check in without a reservation. Busy 
Don't, looks like he's going to try to get that scrap time on P5, but we have a fresh set of rotations. 183-31 in favor of the hunted. All right, Sydney, you have the opportunity to do the funniest thing ever right now <laughs> and really turn this one around, but it doesn't look like the hunted want to stop anytime soon as they are just heat-seeking missiles right now, absolutely firing on all cylinders. They're going to hit the 200 mark only 20-some seconds into P1 on the second rotation. And again, this is a tough hill to get into when you don't start in it now off the second rotation. Sunny finds one big one to maybe break this thing open. Just going to lay down and contest. Comes the shots out. Chapo is going to find that one too, unfortunately. So it will be the work of El Chapo and the guy inside this hard point. I don't even know if we've seen the Kaboom yet, but no, we haven't. have not really needed it. No, they haven't needed it at all. We haven't seen it yet in this matchup. Uh, busy. Oh man, a little. Uh, okay, Sonny. There was a little argue there at the at the check at the reservation desk at that. And nice little trade off there also. Salvo working his way around towards P2, 214.45 in favor of Sydney. Sydney actually has the 10 pegs down on this P2. But here comes, oh man, Salvo was going to try to make a difference. El Chapo working his way from the back, but he gets mowed down. So here, Sydney is owning the hill for right now. Salvo working his way around, pulling a flank, busy up top side, takes out one. Get some get some concealment. Quick bag change. There we go. It's now Chicago yeah. Hill again. Two seventeen seventy in favor of the hunted. As we get ready to go back to the bar for P three. Whoever's the first one there, please make sure you're old enough and make me a margarita. Busy makes his way over there. Traps he gets taken down real quick. As we go ahead, start off this P three with busy on a five spree. Two twenty three seventy three in favor of the hunted. Yeah, I'll take a busy two alleys there, so fair enough. Let's get that bar rolling. I'm down for a couple of late night drinks anyway, but it's the dingoes that gotta find the break. They need 27 more points to avoid that song that I know our man RM's ready to play, but either way, Salvo's got this thing going right now. He's gonna try and find his way back to the hill, but he won't need to when El Chapo's in there shooting, who's to a strong start in this series, we'll say at 28-11 with only five more seconds to find it gonna count us down three more but it'll be crapsy that finds his way in chapo not finding that one he's been having troubles for the last flight there but right now dashy finding his way in gonna snap a couple up here we go sydney getting a little bit of momentum finding the old time on this hill now firing they've got the rotation too so dare i say it coffee dare Seven, i say it six i think they might five, have a chance and four to do one of those three, better things one P4, with three two, more seconds one. They're not going to oh, take it. Man. Oh, man. Oh, man. 240. No. Oh, there we go. Oh, they get it. Sydney All avoids the right. 100-point club as Akami works his way around. Takes a little bit of high road. Avoids the stack bar, but goes over towards that P4 area. 247-115 in favor of the Dingoes. Akami's going to go ahead. Clean house. Oh. No. Trapsy on a five spree. El Chapo says Trapsy. no more. Trapsy. No. Trapsy with six. Trapsy's got a cruise. Salvo working his way around. Oh, a few love taps. Love. Salvo gets taken down. Holy cow. 247, uh -oh. 128 in favor of the hunted right now. But 20 That's seconds fun. left on this P4 hill. Oh. It's going white. Akami's going to. Oh, nope. Trapsy. Trapsy said no. Vinzi working his way around right now Better with eight five. on the hill. 247, 135 in favor of the hunted as we go. To this P5. This Come on, from Trapsy. <laughs> connects with, connects with two. Here we go. El Chapo Trapsy's going gonna on. Going to try to clear off this P5 hill. No. Not you gotta find Chapo. They do it. I believe in Sydney. I believe in Sydney. Find these kills. There we go. Sight's gonna find one on the hill. Sunny's got another one up top. Oh, the trade's going to come in. Chapo's trying to do it all himself. He's saying, guys, where are we at here? We got to close this thing out. But it is the dingoes that have came alive right now. Traps 26 and 20. They are challenging. Oh, I love this energy from the dingoes. Sunny on the back side. Going to find two more. Chapo kills a teammate with that. There's no one near the hill. They're all going back to spawn. That's 15 more seconds for the dingoes with one second of room to play wow. for. Wow. 
Twitch chat, get alive. I need you to hear it. Oh, wow. Dashi and Trapsy doing it. This is a big fight. They're going to find it. Into the restaurant they go. They can't find a kill right now. The Dingo's got this unlocked, Coffee. Holy cow. As we go into another set of rotations, El Chapo trying to pull Chicago out of this mess. Chapo. 249, 185. Oh. But there we go. Give it to the Chicago Hunted. 250, 185. Wow, that's all I can say. <laughs> of all the games that end 250 to 181 in that range, that might have been the more exciting one I've ever seen. I, I love those singles now. They didn't give up. They didn't hear no way right now as we see these teammates going out 4-4 four, four split, or sorry, 2-2 two, two split really coming out of the Dingo defense. And then the Hunted looking to take a little bit more of a passive approach over to this B site as Vizzy's looking to get engaged. Now I love the skin. This is a beautiful looking gun he's got going right now. He's going to lean to peek out. He gets some shots from the bridge. No, he's got, got a little bit of information, but as we see these members all cross, a lot of dingoes getting pushed up, really. So, Trap's going to be set. Dash is going to find our first blood. There we go. Looking for looking at Akami right now. And Vizzy was the bomb carrier, so the bomb is down right there. At the, looks like the top of the top of Eskies, or the top of the stairs. It's over on that B side. We know that, but... Akami, oh man, Akami gets a few love taps, but gets taken down. So here we go. Salvo is all that's left for the Chicago Hunted. A three on one. Salvo picks up the bomb. What's he going to do? Oh man, he's going to get taken down in the catwalk. Sydney, jump ahead. One nil. Yeah, start keeping a little bit of that momentum going from that last map. Really, the end of it. Sunny finding two more here. Sunny started that first map very poorly. I think they would say that themselves. But they turned around that first map. Part of their success coming back too. I mean, Trapsy was obviously doing a lot of heavy lifting, but it was Sunny who kind of turned his own personal KDA around, and they picked up the two first kills of the search and destroy too. So, well, Dashy found first blood, obviously, like the like the CDL version does as well. But Sunny has been uh, putting some work in as well here. So a great round out of the Dingoes on their very first defense. And now offense wise, there's no splitting involved. They are going to send all four of these members hard and out to the day bomb. What kind of fight do they get on Capo? Here we see Coffee. He jumped right over oh, him again. I don't know if he's going he's gonna to get this plant off. He's right beside you, brother. Let's see who Chow's who after the bomb's going to get planted. Oh. And two members drop immediately, and they're going to hop the defuse. Oh, man. Wow. El, El Chapo on the defuse. Boom. There it is. Chicago ties it up. Coming off the bagel. What a piece. We may need to make a tweet from our rec league account. Reminding players late into the season of the jump up spot and yeah. that you will be jumping over members. Because that was that was about one of the crazier versions of that. He jumps right over him. I'm gonna plant this bomb, why not? Chapo really wasn't even too phased that I'll kill you and then I'll, I'm I'm hopping that diffuse right away too. I don't care who's alive. As we are now watching. On Chicago's offensive round, Sydney on the defense. Here we go. Vizzy, the bomb carrier, looking from Dashy's point of view. Dashy kicks the door over it, coming in the lower level of the ball. Now Stockot it over on the A side. Oh man, send some rounds, draw the first blood onto uh, Akami. Salvo over at the at that uh, LTV goes ahead, jumps into the garage. Psychotics coming up. The bomb's getting planted on that A side by Chicago. Vizzy is able to get the plant down. Boom, bomb's planted. Let's go ahead. Clean house over there, Cy. And somebody in the chat a few minutes ago said, don't let Cy or Trapsy get busy on this map. El Chapo, all that's left for the Chicago hunted. 1v2, but does it matter? Trapsy gonna come up, get take out, get the defuse. With more time to come and sense, Sydney jumps ahead 2-1. Yeah, Dingo's looking good. Dingo's looking nice, tempered, and patient in this map so far. And I love to see that that top spot there is being played really well from our man Kai up there. Not Kai, sorry, I'm screwing his name up. But either way, he was playing that top uh, planter spot very well, just not going too far. Got the info on the bomb, came out, got a check, and then kind of started shouldering it again. So love to see that out of Psy and... Now it'll be back to the hunted on the defense. So far, we've had a few defense wins. A lot of bo bombs getting planted. That's a good thing about Rio. We yes, do see is. that bomb go down. Yes, we see it go go down real quick. Traps sees the bomb carrier right now. Is busy. Oh man, he was trying to get set up by the soda machine. Got a love tap. 
Who's going to step back a little bit? Psychotics. Watch her around, but Vizzy draws the first blood onto Sonny. Trapsy sneaking his way up the Eskies. There's a hello there. It does connect. So now Akami over at the soda machine. Thought he saw somebody running through at P3. He could have been wrong. Makes, oh, wow. Gets taken out from behind. Trapsy is all that's left right now for the Sydney Dingoes. So it is a 1v2. Trapsy going to have to be very careful about it. Goes on either side of the catwalk. Waste most of a magazine with change. Kicks the door open but gets taken down. Chicago come off the breadstick and tie it up. Deuce, deuce. Two defenses in a row. Teams are settling in a little bit. Playing a bit with their newfound knowledge of what the other team is seemingly wanting to do. A little bit of a slower start there, too, from the uh, dingoes on that offense. I find usually you want to be kind of quick off the start of the rounds on Rio on offense. I mean, it just – the defense isn't really favored to getting to the bombs necessarily if you're quick with a passion, but you let things fizzle out, then you got to start doing a little bit of extra thinking, extra checking. But, hey, what do I know? Let's keep it going anyway. And it seems like Chicago going to take their time this time. Maybe a blend is the right answer. Is The smoke's going to come out and – We've seen the Dingoes do this before on their defense. They get up and they take position quickly. I like that from them. But they don't realize how many members may be here. He's going to get the info on two of them. Chapo didn't see him, but Scion able to connect. He's going to reposition as they lost a member on the other side of the map. It will be Sabo finding that one over there. As Sai working his way through P3 right now. Oh, man. Over at Eskies, he gets a few love taps. But guess what? The bomb is planted at B. Vizzy was able to get it planted. So now... It is a 4v2. Bomb is planted. 35 seconds left. Dashy and Psychotics have some work ahead. Psychotics getting a few love taps from behind. Gets taken down. Dashy is all that's left right now for Sydney. Watch it carefully. Gets taken down. Chicago jump ahead. 3-2. 3-2 for Chicago. Starting this one off again strong. I think we're just getting a bit better of a response from Sydney. Chicago able to turn that offense. They got in there. They got that bomb down. It was off of Salvo finding two of those kills bridge side. It can be, it's kind of, I think in the end of the day, you look at the Rio, a lot of, there's a lot of big 4v4s around the A site. Some kills in the middle planters, right? And then there's a couple rounds that are just seemingly a bridge kind of police truck 1v1 over there that whoever's got the longer AR shots. Uh, ends up winning their team a round or two. So it was Salvo making his dent on the map on a three streak. Hunted now on defense. This is a kind of a swing round. You got the defense if you're Chicago. Could go up four to two. Could be tied three to three. But the Dingo's hitting this one out fast. They're gonna lose a member on the entry. Kami's gonna get a stun out. He's in the smoke though. He doesn't know where anything is, but he does with that stun info. But they give up the site. They use their first blood. They're gonna retake. I like this out of them. Trying to find a lane. Are the hunted? Checking a couple of these spots. The retake is in now. Forty seconds on the clock. Gonna even it up at one. Akami's gonna trade it right back. Give him the life advantage. A big fight on the side here. He's gonna chow out, not find it. Busy found one. They're gonna chow out last member out, and that will be a nice 4v3 retake for the hunted. Very nice. Quick, fast, in a hurry. Chicago's now up 4-2. And like we say, chess, not checkers. And that's what Chicago Hunted's playing right now. They are they are playing chess, and before too long, we're gonna have a uh King v. King checkmate. King v. King checkmate, you say. An interesting end. An interesting end as we look at it now. Four to two. This is this is the swing round of swing rounds. Five to two, like we see in the last one, is tough to come back from. Four to three, obviously, you're right in it. And we now look at Chicago. What will their plan be to put them to that five? Checkmate. Wow, this is a blind, opposite of a blind counter. No one A. But Chicago is usually a little slower on their pushes, but they could be as slow as they want as there is nobody here. But it will be that dingo push through now that I wonder if Chicago picks how quick they pick this up because those members are moving and they're moving quick. Dingo's in through the back. Number three will pick them up. It's Trapsy's job here not to die instantly and let his flank get in now. And I don't know if they're expecting all three of these members, but Chapo finds one. Ooh. He's going to start shooting at another. Here comes the pinch. Trapsy will find one to bring it back to a 3v3. Now Chapo gets another one off that van. 
and it's now Trapsy and the member Psychotics that's got to get going. He'll get one and get traded. 2v1 for Trapsy. If anybody can do it, it's him. But a nice oh. pistol shot there will put the wow. hunted up 5-2. to two. Man, Chicago is just... As soon as they got that bomb plan, it got, every, got their 10 pegs down. Sydney just like, uh, no, we're not going to play this crap. And yeah... Do or die now for the Dingoes. Risking going up down 2-0 in the series. Looked good again. Points in this map. Got to put it all together. I mean, completely doable. Still, every search and destroy is one round at a time. And they're aggressive in their pushes. I like that out of them. So, B, here we go. Busy, though, finding those kills on these Esky players all game long. And he does it again. It's busy. Watching the stairs. Oh, man. Nasty heady. Oh, gets taken down before the nade goes out. Salvo working his way around as dashy as the bomb carrier. Looks like they're still going to be trying on that B side. Oh, man, at the bridge, Salvo gets taken down. Here we go. It is a uh, three on two. Akami working his way upstairs. No, oh, ouch. Taken down. El Chapo is all that's left for the Chicago Hundred. Oh, took out the bomb carrier, but the bomb has been planted. It is a 1v2, Psychotics and Sunny against El Chapo. And El Chapo has a lot of work. He's got to take out two and get the defuse. Or hopefully just be able to get the defuse with 27 seconds left in what could be the final round for this search and destroy. Working the long flank. Coming up through P3. <coughs> Catch one at the stairwell. Psychotics versus El Chapo. Psychotics win. Send it. Sydney, stay alive, five to three. Yeah, they're able to fend off the first blood and from the work of Psychotic holding up to cycling, getting Chapo on that late check. So good job to keep this one alive, bringing it to five, three. Only need three more. Got, need all three in a row though, obviously. Um, well, and it would be four, obviously, there it'll find the other one. So maybe another late push from the Dingoes in this map. Their fans are calling for it. They want another heroic return. And who better to get us going than Dash? He's got a couple first bloods in this game already. We get in there and do it this time. The three members of the Dingoes will do a good job getting in here. It's going to be Trapsy mowing that man off the heady. That's a great start to this round. That'll be the bomb carrier down, too. All this bridge action is going to get picked up by Trapsy as well. This guy's flying side to side as the push comes out. Oh, and they're not going to find the shots there. But still a 3v2 if you are the Dingoes. And you know you got some action out towards this bridge. As let's see how this push goes. Acme trying to get involved. He's going to fall back, though. As Dash, he finds Salvo. So this is a 3v1 quickly for the Dingoes. And Acme in a tough spot. He will not find it. A 5-4 to four round count now. Dingoes making one more late push in this map, Coffee. In this yep. series. Here we go. 5-4. As we watch Psychotics. Right there at the P3 stairs. I mean, the worst comes to drastic, we end up going to a round 11, which I'm not going to complain about. I like round 11s, although my favorite number is 511, just saying. Um, okay, there we go. Psychotics is the bomb carrier right now is Acme set up on the A side. Psychotics over at the cop car. Trapsy at the pillar. Giving some coverage. Nade going, or, yeah, Nade going up. Caught by a trophy. Does he see Salvo? Stun goes out. Gets a hit marker. Empties out a magazine. Looking for, trying to get Salvo. It is a four on two. Sonny working his way around. Trapsy now wow. the bomb carrier. Psychotic got to take it down. Sonny got taken down. Trapsy's all that's left. Can he get busy? There's one. We have a three left for Trapsy. No. Chicago take the map. 6-4. Yeah, just tough. I mean, again, I was praising Sydney all game long for their aggressive pushes, but it's kind of it's a live and die by that sword, right? When you go so hard out to one bomb and you get first blooded and drop another guy, it really deflates the sails and puts the other two players they're looking good out there it's just yes it's they just are really 
as soon as they find that consistency, you know that it's going to be just like that. Traps, he draws the first blood as El Chapo on the hill right now, was on the hill right now for Chicago. Busy gets taken down off the roof. Salvo working his way into that B point at the diner. Watching the alley, watching red, watching the Oh, there you go. Send some rounds down. Down range. Go ahead, put a fresh mag in and take a breather there. Acme working his way through red right now, doing a little house cleaning. Gets one. Is he going to get the other one? Busy. Oh, man. Almost. But that only counted horseshoes and cruise missiles. Busy working his way through right. Salvo gets taken down just outside the B point. At El Chapo on that A, A hill right now, holding it down on his own for the Chicago Hunted. But gets taken down quick. We are at almost one ticket A and just a smidge at B. Now, Ch oh, man, El Chapo got a few rounds in but got taken down. Acme gets taken down himself. Salvo, it's been, man, Sydney bullets are connecting. Taking a look right Ooh. now. There's an 11 life, 10 life, oh, man, more than that. 10 life advantage right now for the Sydney Dingoes on this defense with 25 seconds left. Here we go. El Chapo's on that B side. Acme's joining us. We're up to one ticket B for the Chicago Hunted. Busy wow. covered from the buzz with Dashie on a 5 3 right now. Trapsy is on there cleaning off the hill. Chicago down to four lives. 16 seconds left. El Chapo on the A hill to stop the clock. One ticket A. Ticket a half at A. Here we go. We have a full stack at A right now. We're now to a small stack. We're to gyms either way. Psychotics up top. Trying to trying to uh, do some take it out without getting taken down himself. The A point is secured. We have another minute to play with. So you're saying there's a chance. As it's a 2v12 here. They are able to find that A capture. But ticks on this map rarely end up mattering. You usually end up seeing an offense get their way through. But... Could end up being a factor, but able to get that A point, I guess, is a little bit comforting if you are the hunted. But, I mean, the real story here is definitely the dingoes and their slaying. They went up oh, yeah. 10 lives very early. And, I mean, other than Chapo's last life here, there is not oh. much left to be said. As Dash is going to take that child, not going to find it. There we go. 1v11. Chapo wants it. He wants all 10. And he's got enough time, honestly, to get in a few of these fights. But... Just can't seem to think that he'd actually get away with all these. His gun is shooting, though. And here's the child. Finally, he will get picked up. The Dingoes starting this control off exactly how you want to. Going up one nothing, and we're out slaying the crap out of the hunted at the start of that. So sending a message that they don't think this series is over yet. Oh, no. It ain't over till the fat lady sings. And uh, from what I've heard, she hasn't even started warming up yet. Now, let's see how Sydney handles this or how Chicago answers on their defensive round. Looking from Acme's point of view, here we go. Acme working his way, long flank over towards that A. Sonny making his way over to A right now, tossing a hello there. It connects. Trophy going down. Big name going out. Busy already holding down the hill. We have a small, we had a small stack at A, word to Jibs, but we have one ticket A, ticket a half at A right now. Busy go cleaning off that second tick of progression at on that A side, so there's only one tick. But that we have a small stack at B. Word to Jibs, Psychotics and Sunny holding down that B side as Salvo and Agni come in to try to clean things out. Working the way around the bottom of red towards P5. Oh, hi, how you doing? A little trade-off right there. We have, looks like one thing at B, and now we're starting over at A with Psychotics on that A hill. El Chapo working his way up. Is he going to be able to get some coverage? Salvo sneaks onto that A side for a little c contest. One minute left in the round. That A side is getting cleared off. So there we go. One tick at each site. El Chapo going upstairs. Gets a couple love taps. Who did that? Okay. Trapsy tosses the trophy down. Making his way over. Here we go. There's that second tick at B. Small stack over on A. Word to Jim's. Two and a half at A. Full stack at A. 
That A point is secured. We have another minute to play with, Q. Yeah, if they're able to find that A point, I mean, if we're counting ticks now, it will be the dingoes that are up. And, I mean, it may end up mattering in this one. So far, the defenses from both these teams have looked better. Like, I mean, like, again, offense isn't really supposed to be easier. It's just you only need a few kills, and it can end pretty quickly, right? So, this is the dingoes now looking like they might do that. They've got three members very close. A big couple fights here for Vizzy and Chapo, and they're going to find them. Two there. Vizzy's going to get end up traded, but... They also be back to chow this now. It will go their way. These members got to get pushed out now. Cause they keep getting that scrap spawn. It's going to be tough to hold the numbers again. So they're just going to keep spawning. But Chicago is finding two to one ratio in kills right now, like they need to. Can't spend too long finding members. Can't drop too many guys. You got to always keep pushing this out. But it is the dingoes now with only four lives remaining. Three make, three. make it as they will yes. drop that member, but they do have that extra tick, right? So if we're counting defenses and they want another defense, they will be in the driver's seat for that anyway, but maybe, just maybe they'll be able to get more ticks and possibly win it, but it will be a 2v10 now. So very similar to that last round. Pretty controlled by the offense, or the defense, sorry. Dingo's had a little bit more success early on with their wow. first speed push. And uh, now it's going to be one-to-one, -one, and the ticks are in the favor of the Dingo's. And, and no, actually, ticks are even. Four peeps. Oh, oh, did they get, they got one of that first? Oh, my bad, my bad. They got one of that first push. Yes, we are at four ticks apiece. Okay. So we're best of three now, as far as maps or as rounds go. Obviously, the kills will come into account if they are to go to that round five, if they again tie ticks in these next two. But again, I just find that is unlikely. I would more likely predict an offense yeah. to win, maybe the hunted right now. Chapo 12 and 12. Looking to get in there, get in the action. They're going to try and hit this A out real quick off the start. Get two men in. A couple members going that scaffolding side. A couple members a little bit weird with that B push of the dingo. So that's going to give them a bit more time here on the A point. As they sit, there's a little bit of a flank coming down in from the dingo. There's a lot of flank coming in from the dingoes. They're coming to brick. They're coming through the middle. This is going to be a full house clear, I think. Three go down. One more member to go. And he's going to be this last guy up on top. That'll be it. A nice little retake. I love seeing that from the Dingoes. That is a yeah. very like advanced strategy coming back. I mean, don't want to say advanced, but strong to do that in that moment. I mean, went from two and seven eighths ticks down to just two ticks. Now at me on that a hill. Oh, top rope. Oh. What was that? What was that? Oh, uh, from the top uh -oh, rope. Yeah. Uh -oh. Man, we have Agni at A and everybody else stacking uh -oh. B words and gyms. That A point is taken. Oh, not yet. Not uh, yet, but we have two ticks in B. Two and a half. Agni working his way through Sonic. red right now. Clean off that A. There we go. Sonny boy getting a three piece to clear him off of B there. That'd be a huge play out of him. We have two at A, two at B. And we're going to go ahead and start that final one at A as we're watching Salvo. Going to go ahead and come onto that B side. Can we get them both at the same time? No, Salvo gets both down. Trifty coming out of red. Does a little street cleaning. Working his way through the bot through the bottom of the hotel. El Chapo gets taken down from the Jersey barrier. Contest on the B side. Acme smartly gets out of the way. Nade goes over the dumpster. El Chapo over at that jersey over on the A side. So we are still. We have two and a half at A, two at B. Salvo's gonna go ahead. Set up 10 pegs on A. Psychotics goes ahead, oh takes him out. We're going to go ahead. Wipe that. Wipe that. As we roll in A, they're just trying to finish it out. But I do believe with six lives remaining, they're going to do so. I don't know if they'll be able to get back over. All the dingoes have made their way and have a strong setup now. In nine to five is a live count, but there is plenty of time. So... Chicago needs to be patient, make sure they find their kills here. And they're going to find one, gets traded immediately. Chapo's in the back. I don't think he was picked up by anybody. It does look like maybe these Dingo arrows are coming just over by chance. But no, they don't know he's here. So here we go. Here is the play. First kill going to come out for Chapo. He's got to find one more, though, you got to think. Maybe even two, but he's not going to. 2v5 now. Doable. Those numbers aren't impossible. But it's going to be tough. Here comes the first fight. Vizzy's going to find that one. Trade it out instantly. And there's the other one.
Yeah, so it was just a banger of a round, really. The Hunted ended up getting into that a bit more after they finished that A point, but ended up swinging the other way, of course. So as we look towards now this next round, it will be big as Chicago got five ticks that round, but they will Check. need to win this defense now. And as they are rocking into the spawn, out of the spawn now, got to win the defense, of course, but if they can are able to keep them under the six, which obviously they have to do to win, so they will probably be securing a defense round five, which has been important in this one so far. Oh, man. He does a little cleaning off on that B side that gets mowed down himself. Chapo comes into that B, comes into B, sees him behind the counter, goes ahead, points out, and then from the back, as Salvo up on top. Nice jump. Is he going to be able to? One, two. Wow. Oh, man, almost had a three piece, but got took down busy up top right now. Uh -oh. hops, hops down. But gets taken out. El Chapo works his way back around on that B side. Salvo. Oh man, it, the guns are just going left, right, and center. Everybody's dropping like flies. Oh, busy. And lives are pretty much even right now for both teams. So this is going to be a fight for the ages. Yeah, and Cindy does not want to give a let go of the pressure on the B point. They kept having moderate success. They just can't seem to find that last kill to get in and get a full stack. It is going to be busy hopping over now. They've gone into the point. Two members are inside. But they do have some members surrounding. There's a huge fight for Busy. Needs to find one, you think. Oh, he doesn't either. So Salvo's the next man up. If he doesn't find one, this gets scary quick. He's going to get one. He's going to just lay down, wait for his teammates. Nice play out of him. This is going to hopefully open up some room for Chapo. But it's not going to be enough. He's going to snap into action now. These ticks are going by like crazy. But Acme on the backside now. He's going to be the last one to take a chance. But they're going to push out. First kill is going to come in for Acme. He's going to want the second one too as he's taking out this Chow. Go for the third fight. He doesn't need to be so aggressive now. Maybe his team can get here a little quicker. But he's only got five bullets in this rival. I worry if this is going to bite him in the butt. He's only got the five. He's going to go with the pistol. And they're going to challenge him through the closet. And they will get this B point now, Coffee. Yes, they will. And boom, there it is. Psychotics and Sunny stack that B point and go ahead and secure it. Give us another minute to play with. 127 left in what could be this last round of control. Salvo watching the alley making his way upstairs. We have to cover A, boys. We have to cover A. Salvo, look, just trying his best. Ten lives apiece. Busy. Oh man, it didn't. That didn't matter because he busy got taken down real quick. Salvo, trying to work his way over onto that, onto that A side. Psychotic on the hill for Sydney right now. We have a tick and a half at A. Oh. Oh, man. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, that's a big kill. Ah, oh, that's a big kill they didn't get. That started a little bit. Sydney tried to work his way around. Akami from upstairs. Sydney and four Chicago both with four lives left. 3v4. This is for the game. This is for the series if Sydney were to lose this. Yes. This... Oh, El Chapo, El Chapo making it a three on three. Actually, it's a two on three right now. Nade going down. Doesn't connect. No, it doesn't. Ooh. Ow, a little fall damage. 25 seconds left in this round. Search and destroy control right now. He's not, he's going right above him. He's got one in the hill. Here we what go. Two takes it A. Contested A. Gets both down. Oh, oh man. God. Dingoes. Sydney, take it. Sydney, Dingoes are still alive. Three to one. Dingoes end up clutching up in the 1v1. Absolutely necessary. It would have been going home if that 1v1 went the other way, but it does not. What a And play welcome back, me. ladies and gentlemen. We're starting off this Karachi hard point looking from Vizzy's point of view. Traps are drawing the first blood. El Chapo getting... Oh, man. El Chapo get an answer, but El Chapo gets taken down himself. Acme working his way around, try, going from... He gets, uh, looks like he got the top side there cleared off. But Sydney on the hill right now. Sonny holding it down, getting the first 12 points of this match, or this uh, map, excuse me. So here, let's see how well. Up oh, there's a contestant already. Boom, Chicago took the point, took the hill over as we get ready for the Diner Hill for P2. We know it's going to be spicy.
and a whole lot of fun. And we're starting off with a tie, oh, almost a tied game. 18-16 in favor of the Dingoes as we go to P2. Yeah, that first P1 was bloody like we were saying. So, team's not losing any of the emotion in the break. They're fighting tooth and now they want to end it here if you are the hunted. And they want to keep this series alive if you are the Dingoes right now. Looking to break into this one. Already 15 seconds gone on the charge point. So, need to be quick on the break. And you lose your first member. Sunny's going to trade that out evenly. Two members in now. That'll be another good trade. They're going to find some shots on the shop. Oh, a lot of shots through a door going to go through. And it will be the Dingoes that win those shots through the door. I mean, with the sub up here, not going to be able to get it done. He's going to get traded out too. Oh, no. Never mind. He will not yet. 25 left. Dingoes trying to hold on to the spawn, though. Chapo has flipped it. Well, this will be big now. They need to get the rest of this time if you are Sydney, because you will not be getting that rotation. And as I say that, the hunted do spawn in the back one more time. So it will be... Oh, this is a tough spawn. You're never reading this here, Chapo. But either way, he's going to have the fight, and he's going to kill Dash. He's got to be a thorn in their sides back here, because there are many Dingo members looking for him, like a pack of hyenas. Oh, that they are. That they are as we get ready to go to this uh, Delhi Hill P3. 47-35 in favor of the Chicago 100 right now as Acme makes his way into the hill right now. Start to get some hill time for the 100. Door gets kicked open, but guess what? Bullets go in the back. No problem. Acme, right? Looking left, looking right, holding the hill down, making me that uh, pastrami sandwich. Oh, but he gets taken down inside the hill himself. Salvo working his way into the hill with the contest. There we go. Oh, man, was it a trade? It looked like now, Acme up on top, making his way through P1. Sees him up top, mows him down. Hello, hello, where's everybody at? Dashy on the hill right now. Salvo gets taken off the hill. Dashy holding it down for Cindy. 61 43 in favor of the 100 right now as we get ready to go to the, to the shop. P4, trophy going out. All three of those members of the Dingoes push through the church and they're able to find a way through to this one, but it's a tough hill to get any time on, really. It's just a bit of a weird spot to sit in, as we do see El Chapo. And one of the rare good spots of it, you do hide behind these barrels a little bit further back as well, but he wants to keep aggressive, keep himself in a position where he can start shooting these guys. He's going to take that fight trap through some nice shots to kill him there, and a nice chow out of Sunny, who again has just hit a different pace in this series right now. He's absolutely turned this map around. Sorry, turn this series around. He started off that first Vista just really in the dumps, but now he's up to 11 and 7 on this Karachi. He's absolutely willing his team forward, and it's the Dingoes who make that hill interesting. Going to give the 15 seconds of scrap away, yes, but what you always are playing for is that P5 rotation, and if you can find this first opener, you can end up getting a lot of time here, but those shots on the side are going to back him up. Dashy finds a good one to open it up on the other side. They just got to kill these guys on the front side, and they seem to be doing that. Traps, he finds one. Dashy will find another. So that will be all members heading to the back as this hill pops. It's going to be a free 10 to 15 seconds for them, and they have great position to make a big hold here, Coffee. 92 68 in favor of the Chicago 100, but it doesn't matter right now because Psychotic is holding down that P5 hill, getting all kinds of hill time there in the back. Uh, if, I were, if I was looking at the mini map earlier correctly, Dashy was actually preset. Oh, and, busy. Oh, man. Busy's over here cleaning, cleaning the point off on a three spree that gets taken down. Drafty now gets a quick hello there. Nate going back out. Does it connect? No, it gets. Caught by a trophy. Crafty working his way in for the for the contest. Now, here we go. On the hill. Trophy going down. 102-82 in favor of the hunted. But Sydney is trying to catch up. Busy up top. Mows one down. Looks like he's already setting himself up at P1. Going ahead and clean it, cleaning it off. Excuse me. Sunny. And, oh, man. That didn't work very well. I didn't mean going to go ahead. Finish cleaning it off. As we go to a fresh set of rotations, 108.95 in favor of the hunted. Starting this one off through the first set of rotations, our boy Sonny here, clubhouse leader right now with 26 engagements, make it 27, but it is the side on hunted. It's busy. He's in 25 himself, and he's been frying. He's had some really good shots, broke that P5 himself, able to keep the bleeding down. They have this 15-point lead as a result, so... Doing a great job. Sonny is now back into the hill, if you would believe it. Taking another chow, Sonny, for two, baby. And he's going to get cleared out right away again. I love seeing the pacing from these guys as they are flying at P1 right now. We see a couple members starting to rotate over that P2. He's a big fight in the backyard. Is he going to find it? So 
they will have that P2 priority, and they're getting some of the scrap on old. It's another big fight over there for roughly 10 seconds, and it will go the way of the hunted too. So they're going to have about a 30, 35-point lead here with two-on-one members in the next hill. So this is a big moment of the game, Coffee, right here. Let's break. And there we go. Boom. And a nice little chain right there. Del Chapo on the hill for the hunted as we're going 138-106. El Chapo watching that side door, making sure nobody comes in. Working his way around. Oh, man. What are you doing sneaking up on me? Oh, oh, oh. man. The Renetti just wasn't enough. As Sydney goes ahead, breaks the hill. Hello. Went white briefly. Now it's white again until Acme works his way back in there, closes the door behind him, kicks it back up, says, hey, come here, y'all. Salvo. Oh. Man, Salvo didn't last very long there. Busy working his way around through the B-bomb site for search. But making his way over, trying to get set up on P3 all before anybody else can. But it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Because if I'm looking at the minimap right there, looking at that number eight as it kicks in right now. Psychotic on the hill, 170-120 in favor of the hunted. Yes, and he did a good job of reducing the damage of that last hill. But they've given up a little bit of the spawn control of the next one but it seems like they're gonna retake it they're gonna find that next trade it's all about how these members get there and support sunny now some of these hunted members were able to make it to the back and busy is really dangerously close it's gonna be a big 1v1 for sunny here he's got to seemingly find this to keep them in this a lot of the kills on the outside going the way of the hunted and they are gonna get in and flip them out so a big 20 seconds to come here. That will bring the hunted to 20. Maybe a late 1v1 on this old point here from number eight. He's gonna need to find, he will find that. So what a great play from him to get that. This 15 scrap now will go the way of the dingoes. And that's gonna bring them actually to within 30 roughly. So if you can play these next two hills right, right, which is the, you know, kind of playing off of this hill, getting 10 seconds here, trading back and forth, but making sure you have that P5 rotation and ideally the hunted are in under that 215, 220 mark. We'll have to see what they can do. The slaying here is important, Coffee. Let's see. El Chapo right there in the shop. He takes one down, making that hill go back white. He is staying just outside the hill, 184, 150, in favor of the hunted right now. El Chapo right there at the corner, going to go ahead. Oh, nice. Nice set of shots right there. And he gets the two piece. Is he going to be able to, is he going to be able to capitalize anymore? Go ahead. Put that foot back on the hill. Oh, hello there. Oh, number two spot. It's gross. Man, Salvo makes his way across the street. Gets mowed down. Acme upstairs. Throwing some rounds in the street. Emptying a magazine, but it doesn't really matter. Vizzy's going to go ahead and get himself set up on that P5 hill. Ready to go for when it kicks off. 189, 162 in favor of the hunted. Nobody's going to get that scrap here. time. That P5 hill kick it off right about now. Number seven's got to go massive here. He's found his way in the back. Sonny is in. I think oh, that's Dashy on the back side. Going to find one. This trade is absolutely critical. Acme's going to find it. That will be all the dingoes going back to spawn. They left that scrap in an effort to try and break P5. They knew they needed to get here. Didn't do it, but they're going to push out a little too far for Acme. One member's going to make his way to the back. That's a huge way to get over there. The team members holding that, but Sai has found that kill. The break is in for the dingoes, it looks like right now. Salvo finds one. These trades are everything. Acme kills a oh, teammate. Wow. Dashi finds another. Acme will find another enemy, too, now. Shots are going through. Acme's shooting everything, and Vizzy will find another. Absolutely huge recovery out of the hunted there. As the dingoes seemingly found a crack in the armor, but 18 seconds going to go the way of the hunted. It looks like so maybe a late breaker in. Vizzy's the only one here. They need to tell this. They will find it. So there's 10 seconds. They're not. They're going to look to go get a couple of them. But honestly, that's a pretty decent job done if you're Sydney because that looks like it could be the game. 220, yeah. not an impossible number to come back from. It's all about these P1, P2 fights now. Yes, it is. As we go into this new P1, 242, 167 in favor of the yeah, hunted. Fight. Salvo gets taken off P1, that P1 hill. El Chapo working his way around the long way from with the high ground, Holy but crap, he gets taken goes. off. Acme working his way through the bottom of red. Heads upstairs. Sees one, takes one. Uh -oh. oh, little left, little right. Ha ha, got you, rope dope Salvo up top, points the, points the hill off, 224, oh. 184, makes it for Chicago to go ahead and set up shop on this uh. new one hill, 229, 20 seconds left, and Chicago has it. 
gets one. Oh man, Alma tried, but he wasn't able to. And it looks like we're it's going to depend on this P2 for the final oh. 10. So maybe not. 242, no. 184 with seven, with six, with five. Salvo sending some rounds, trying to keep him out. 249, oh. 250, oh. 184. Chicago win the map. Chicago win the match. Damn. All I can say is damn, as Dingoes really did put a couple things together there. It's a great effort in, but at this point, I do have to stop the, uh, the Dingoes plays, if you will, because uh, the hunted really did.